Uh, well, being blanked by the Bruins, uh, certainly not how we wanted this uh, holiday weekend to mostly come to an end. The afternoon 1 o'clock game, 3 nothing Boston over our New Jersey Devils. Biggest positive takeaway, Nico Dawes continues to look absolutely fantastic in net. The only reason that first period went scoreless, uh, I was kind of joking about it with people that that really felt like the Vancouver game when we got absolutely smoked in the first. Same place here, Boston just absolutely had their uh, heel on our neck in that first period, but we got out of it unscathed, just like versus Vancouver. And then we gave up a really early goal versus Vancouver. I was joking, let's just not do that here. And, well, we did. It was probably the, it wasn't probably, it was definitely the only weak goal of the game there from Dawes, when you probably would like to have him save, but considering how many grade A and great S plus saves he made in this one you know you can't be too upset at that and you know also got a score to be able to win games which we did not do in this one you know I don't want to say thankfully but you know uh the ridiculous no uh being shut out streak had already ended uh earlier this season so it was not like this one had that extra bit of punch behind it for us but hey Dawes performance is really the good feel goods takeaway here as far as other solid performances, you got to throw Nemec in there. Just an amazing game from him. You love to see the tenacity there versus Marshawn multiple times in one-on-one -on -one situations. Outplaying Marshawn for the puck, who is one of the better puck counts in the entire league. Just smart plays all around, great pinches, all that stuff. I think, all in all, uh, the stats, he was out there for some chances against two. But hey, that's going to happen when you are out there for a billion minutes like him and Luke were. Now, Luke didn't have as good of a game as Nemec. Uh, some little fluff, some falling on the ice, as we've seen from him. Uh, but he's still a rookie defenseman, getting absolute top flight minutes and deployment against one of the better teams in the NHL. Now, I don't think Boston's as good as Florida, but I think Boston's goaltending is a lot better. Swayman really did keep Boston in this a lot. Now, I don't think we had as many insane quality chances that required some insane saves. He just had some really good position, and it made some... Good chances, not look as deadly. Namely, some of the pucks that were passed from behind the net, from like Nico, out to the goal front and getting a couple taps uh, towards the uh, blocker side, just didn't go in. So that's how the game plays out. No devil's goals to really talk about. The backhander against Dawes, maybe should have had that. Probably should have had that, but I, he was the shining star in this one, so I'm not going to rip him apart. Can't give Boston four power plays with that top power play unit that they had, especially even a 5-on-3, even though we did kill that one. Yes, um, we had the offsides call so, call, so only one of those power plays actually counted on the board, but, I mean, that's an elite shot by Pasta there. Dawes makes a few great saves uh, just before that goal. Unfortunately, we just can't get the clear. Uh, overall, really, since Thanksgiving, our penalty kill has been in the top half of the league. I think it's 12th in the NHL in that span so it's not like the penalty kill has been awful it has fallen off a bit uh since January I think it is now December we actually were really really good on the penalty kill December has been fine but not great uh then we really did only get the one power play chance did not look all that deadly to be honest Boston had the the lead there they really shut it down and I mean Swayman is just a phenomenal goalie so you gotta, you gotta be able to get a lot of chances or really pick your spots there uh, to, to beat a goaltender like that. Beyond that, uh, the Smith injury could really stink if that's long term. I know he's had his uh, love, mostly hate relationship with the Devils fan base, but recent stretch, I do think he has been quite good, especially since he scored his first goal as a Devil. Uh, I think he has shown a lot of promise he's been the physical presence that we really need very unfortunate that he was going for one of his big hits there against McAvoy McAvoy does dodge it and gets it looks like if not the knee itself definitely something in the leg uh tweaked real uh, hopefully not real bad but tweaked enough to keep him out of this one and yeah um Mikey and Brett had some flashes but nothing too sustained there as far as grade A or setups or sustained chances. Toffoli continues to be not what he was earlier. I've kind of been talking about this for a few games now, so I'm not going to harp on it, but I know he doesn't really set up too much of his own stuff. He is the trigger man, 
and he's not getting that at least with the lines as set up. So he's gotta he's gotta find it somehow some way. Uh, but even on the power play, he has not felt all that deadly. Uh, I still think he, on the whole, if you're talking, you know, full season here, he has been as advertised. But if he would have played the way he did to start the year through the full, I mean, this that would have been insane, right? So we're talking probably a little bit of regression here. Hopefully finds his footing, uh, especially as we get healthier, because that's going to be the big thing, right? Taking three points away from a road trip of Tampa, Florida, Boston, given how uh, those teams are right now. Y'all take that. That was kind of the uh, minimum that you really, really wanted out of this road trip. And we got that. Probably should have had four points. And uh, this Boston game, like I said, we got destroyed in the first period. Second period, I actually thought we were the better of the teams. But of course, Boston was the one with the come, to come on with the goal. We start pressing. We take some extra penalties there in the third. And Boston just clamps down like a veteran team is going to know how to do with a goalie that's as elite as Swayman. And that's really how this one plays out. Uh, we did not have our offensive game breakers that are on the ice and like Brett and Nico be able to pot any. Nico had a lot of amazing setups. Just his line, mate, line mates a lot were like Bastion, Halla, just guys that can score more so Halla than Bastion, uh, but aren't those consistent guys. And Brett uh, had flashes, but I don't think he really had any of those super deadly Brat moments seemed like they were definitely playing off of Brat for a lot of the game. That's when you hope that the Devils' depth, when they're healthy, of Palat, uh, Hughes, and Timo would come in. Again, missing your half of your top six and your entire top pairing. Speaking of top pairing, I knew one day we were going to get a Luke Hughes, Shimon Nemich top pair. I did not think it would be halfway through their rookie seasons. So, yeah. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the road trip. Uh, this obviously is a stinker of a way to end it you throw this Boston game in the middle say you know uh beat Tampa I'll play Tampa but lose in overtime lose this game to Boston just as it played out and then beat Florida even though we got outplayed in that one but take the two points away you probably feel really good right so that's just human nature that's our monkey brain minds at work there so don't be too down on this one we have a slightly easier by opponent schedule for the next couple but as far as games played in the amount of days it's a lot heading into the All-Star break, but that All-Star break is definitely welcome so we can get a bit healthier out there. Uh, that's really going to do it. Really got to come out with some points in the next upcoming ones, but really I think it's the four teams all ahead of us in the standings by raw points are below us by points percentage. We have games at hands on all of them. We don't even have to win all of those games uh, to pass every single one of those teams. We can have some regulation and overtime losses sprinkled in there. Uh, Team by team dependent uh, based on who you're talking about. So, yeah, it's it's really not all that dire. And then you do all that, you're like a point back of Philly even uh, for third in the Metro. Canes are beginning to build a little bit of the gap, and the Rangers are completely falling back down to earth. So this is the halfway point of the season. I really wanted to do a full halfway uh, look-in breakdown of the year for the Devils. But with the schedule the way it is, I'll see if I actually have the time to do that or not. Uh, so, yeah, well, we'll just see where I'm vibing at uh, come tomorrow and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to call it here. There was no other, there was no goals for the Dills to talk about. So, uh, focusing on a bit of the positives, keeping a bit of a reality check in there as well. Biggest thing is keep Dawes in net and let's get healthy because uh, if we can do that, I got no concerns heading into playoffs. So, as always and forever, let's go Devils.